Okay, first thing I'm gonna do when sketching any angle in standard position is to mark my initial arms. So that's O and A. O has to be the origin, and then A is that point on the positive x-axis where the x-axis and the circle intersect. Then I'm just gonna count by 90s. So I'm just marking this. I wouldn't mark it every time, but it's just to show you how I'm gonna count by 90s. And I start in a counterclockwise direction. I know that my angle 240 is between 180 and 270 and I'm not super accurate. I mean, if you want to get really accurate, you can say, oh, it's got to be 30 before 270 and mark that in there, but I usually don't worry. The main thing is that you get it into the right quadrant. So as soon as I know 240 is between 180 and 270, I knew the answer was in quadrant three. All right, now I'm gonna find two coterminal angles, a uh, formula for a coterminal angle and the reference angle. So the first one defined as the reference angle, especially since there's just one. So the reference angle is always the acute angle between the terminal arm and the x-axis. So here, I know the terminal arm's at 240 and the x-axis is 180 degrees. So to find that little reference angle, I gotta subtract 240, take away 180, and I get the reference angle is 60 degrees. To find the coterminal angles, the easiest thing is just to add 360. If you want to subtract 360, you can do either add 360 or subtract 360 from your angle and standard position. But I always just kind of add 360 a couple times. So 240 plus 360 is 600 degrees. And then to find another one, it's 600 plus 360 is 960. So there are the two coterminal angles, and now we just need a formula. So a formula, just take your angle in standard position, and it's always just plus or minus 360 degrees times n, where n is a whole number. So what most people forget is to write in that n is a whole number, but it is important.